For millions of passengers taking to the skies every day, weighing luggage has become about as routine as selecting your seat, picking out a snack, or choosing an in-flight movie. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. But soon, Air New Zealand passengers on international flights will also have the option to hop on the scale themselves before heading to their gate. The airline announcing a new voluntary anonymous survey that's designed to calculate the average weight of passengers over the next month. The goal, they say, is safety. It's a regulatory requirement for us to know the weight of everything that goes on the aircraft, and there's a good reason for that. Industry experts say knowing how much everything weighs on board, including fuel, baggage, passengers, and more, helps planes to fly more efficiently while remaining balanced. According to Air New Zealand, the scales in the airport will not display any passenger's weight and all of the data will be fed directly into a computer and recorded anonymously along with thousands of other passengers. But despite all of that reassurance, some Americans on social media and beyond saying, no scale, no way. Oh, wouldn't it be infernal humiliation of being weighed in public ever and... Uh... I think that's a violation of privacy. When I go to the doctor, I don't even look at the scales. When it comes to commercial aviation safety, I want to err on the side of exact measurement, not a guesstimate. Still, New Zealand says its program has nothing to do with discrimination and everything to do with the science of calculating how many passengers a plane can safely carry. It's critically important um, for the safety of flight that you know how much the airplane weighs. It's particularly cert uh, certificated to perform in a given way at a given weight. Some experts say the methods and data collected by Air New Zealand could offer wide-ranging benefits around the world. I think you may see some other airlines utilize this at some point in the future. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go on record saying I'm not into the vibe of this whole thing. <laughs> I know they say it's anonymous, Sam, and I get it, but I can see how this could evolve into something. So I guess it, it would be embarrassing, but would anyone be, be told, hey, look, you're too heavy, you can't board this plane? Yeah, absolutely not, Hoda. You know, I know there might be some skepticism out there, but the reality is this is not about profiling people based on their weight. And yes, we are going to take them at their word that if you choose to step on a scale, your data goes to some database, but no one can see what that weight is connected with you. It is, in fact, as we've stated, anonymous. Now, another question people are going to have, would this ever be brought to the United States? Here, the FAA gives broad discretion to the airlines to decide how they want to comply with weight and balance requirements. Generally speaking, aviation experts Say they go to the medical industry to get information about what the average weight of passengers is here. It is possible we could adopt a model similar to what we're seeing in New Zealand right now, but there's no indication that that is on the horizon anytime soon. How do I put your fears at rest a little I'm bit? Not, I'm not sure, Sam. I'm still on the fence on that one. I mean, you also want to know. I tried. If, you also want to know if, if having a lot of heavy passengers causes plane accidents. Like, right. what's the real point of all of this? I understand. Yeah, the safety, safety issues. and efficiency. Yeah, efficiency. And efficiency. Well, I, if, like you, a, if I don't have to know, yeah. I think I'd be all right. It seems like a solution in search of a problem. To, to your point, yeah. I, are there a lot yeah. of commercial airlines that are really at risk? What if you had a scale like after your vacation and it just oh. gave you like plus five, oh. plus ten, whatever? I'm just having flashbacks of being in sixth grade standing on the scale. Oh, I was the, the only one who tipped a hundred, and I remember the feeling of it. So, but we were tall. Yeah, that's, that's, true. that's true. Yeah, that's what, that's what told I told us. myself. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.